Hi, and welcome back to Mingus on Tech. I'm Ken Mingus, Executive Editor at Computer World. I'm here with Michael Simon from Macworld. We're going to be talking about some things that Apple's up to, like bent iPads and earnings revenue warnings. What the hell? Stick around. Okay, so Mike, first, thanks for being here. Happy New Year. Thank you for inviting uh, me. I'm going to warn our, our video producer there may be bad language here. <laughs> In fact, there will be bad language here because I want to know what the hell is going on with Apple. Uh, over the holiday break, as I'm sure you know. Um, wait, wait, what happened? Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, well, let me tell you. Over the holiday break, Apple announced that apparently some people are getting bent iPads. New well, iPads. they didn't really announce it. They tried to squash well, it. Well, okay. Let's say it, it became, people who were getting these bent iPads made a big stink. Yeah. Apple acknowledged it and basically said that's the way they're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. They're not really bent, or if they're bent, you shouldn't worry about it. Which is just And I'm sorry. I just crazy. need to make sure that my outrage meter is pegged yeah, yeah, appropriately no, because my first response is, what the Yeah, yeah. It's okay. crazy. I, so, I wrote an article over the break. To, I called it gaslighting. Yeah. I mean, they're basically saying, no, no, it's fine. And you're looking at this thing that has and a it's clear not fine. curve. Yeah, I know the pictures you can see. It's, yeah, it, you yeah. know, it's it's torqued. And they're, what Apple is saying basically is that these things meet whatever parameters. Yeah, four hundred microns. I'm not supposed to see four hundred microns. This is visible. Yeah. Uh, in fact, a Macworld reader sent us pictures of his, and Apple said, "No, we're not fixing it." They made him use one of the two instances of damage protection, accident protection, which costs money. When which you costs fi uh, fifty bucks or thirty bucks. I think it's fifty. Yeah. And it takes, you only have two right. for two years, so it takes one away. And forget all that. They basically made him accept blame. For a, for what it, I would, for, for what most for, people yeah, I think would consider to be a flawed piece of hardware. There's there. reports that I've read that people take it out of the box and it's broke. And it's been, it, if I spent, even if I got the cheapest one, yeah. 800 bucks, I'm pulling this thing out of a box and I can see that it's bent. It ruins it for me. Of course it does. I mean, and, and I mean, I'm a big Apple fan. I've had Apple hardware for 20 years. I've had every version of the phone, just about every iPad, et cetera, et cetera. I'm, I'm not here just to slam Apple for slamming Apple, but no, no, I'm you actually have one, you have one right there. Clearly, you like their products. I do, and but I'm actually stunned that a company that bases yeah. so much of uh, what it does on the customer experience, Absolutely. the the beauty, the joy, the magical you know, whatever that you get by buying something from Apple. Totally. That when these things start showing up, but again, it may be a small number, it doesn't matter. One is too many, and more than one is is worse. When you've got something like that, and then the company comes back and says, well, yeah, it's bent, but that's okay. And they and never even issued an official statement. They, yeah, have they a, said they were going to do they, that Now they have a thing on their website that talks all about this Micron thing, blah, blah, blah. But they never came out with an official media statement that explained anything or even accepted culpability. It's crazy. And let's say it isn't a quote unquote manufacturer defect and they're arriving straight. This thing has been in the market for two months. Yeah. There is nothing that someone can be doing to abuse it to create that type of a slight bend, even if they're if they're throwing it in a bag, which is what you're supposed to do. Yeah. That's a I manufacturer that defect. One. Yeah, yeah. I don't care how you how you slice it, how you parse it, or how you measure it. Apple should be supplying replacement devices for people who bring them into the store that have a noticeable bent. And okay. that's it. Okay, so my outrage meter is uh, pegged appropriately. I'm, I'm, I'm with you, and I can't believe that it's like it seems to be blowing over. Well, I, do we assume that there was a problem that Apple is ignoring or pretending isn't there? They fixed it, and they're hoping that you know eventually. I guess, but. That's not for a company like that. That you expect that from a smaller company that's going to, you know, go bankrupt by replacing. Apple yeah. can certainly afford to replace people's iPads, even if it's a big number, but it doesn't seem to be a huge number. It seems to be a rel right. relatively, you know, one maybe five percent of iPads. Yeah, that's not going to hurt Apple's bottom line. And no, even if it does, the, they're they're dealing with enough about that anyway. But I would think the publicity around this, I mean, this this is, this is going to give them a black yeah, eye. If they don't bit. think they have a black eye now, this will come back to haunt them. No because, doubt. You know, and I, I'm just surprised, I, I mean, really surprised that they would even, I mean, it just, it's so. It doesn't make sense. It's gross. And the people who are buying them, they're their best fans. Right. You know, they're, they're people who are running out to buy the most expensive iPad ever immediately. Yeah. And then Apple's looking at them in the face and saying, 
Nope, it's fine. Well, I guess the reason I wanted to call attention to this is because I'm concerned that it sets a precedent. It so does. That it absolutely does. So that when the next iPhone comes out and it's got a little chip in the corner, Apple can say, oh, that's the way we designed yeah, it. Yeah. That's within our tolerances. I, it, or, well, it's the same as those dead pixels way back when on the IMAX. They, it was yes. like, I think, five or something. Right. Listen, man, I, I had one of those machines back then, and I had one and one you, dead and pixel. Once and you it, see it, you that cannot was it. I could it. not look away. No matter what I was doing, one eye was looking yep. at that pixel. Bothering you the entire time. And eventually time. They, they, they lowered the tolerance. Yeah, I remember you could, up, you, had, you could rub the screen. Yeah, you, you could, could try do this to try to get rid of the it, pixel. It, it and, never mattered. It was always there. And, and certain colors, it didn't show up. But it, it, it drove me nuts. And back then, we didn't have these millions of pixels. So right. they were pretty big. Right. Those, those squares were, you know, they were noticeable. Yeah. And Apple had, I think it was five or three or eight, whatever it was that was below their threshold. But they eventually kind of softened to that and realized that, listen, we're, we're selling a product. We're selling a, a, a piece of hardware. Fine. Mm -hmm. But more m above all that, the Apple experience is exactly. why they experience are the word who they on. are. Yeah. And by having a, a, an iPad that's bent, you're not going to be able to overlook that. I, I, I couldn't anyway. When it comes to iPads, yeah. get bent, Apple. Um, all right, so outrage acknowledged. Um, future black eye acknowledged. We'll see where this goes from here. I don't, it doesn't bode well for uh, Apple. I don't know what they're thinking. Uh, moving on to more recent news. Um, Tim Cook last week, yeah, last week put out a yeah. note, uh, a, a lengthy letter, I guess, explaining that revenues were going to fall short of where Apple thought they would be for the uh, the quarter. Um, blamed economic slowdown and in particular China. Yeah, that was that um, was the crux of it. I don't yeah. remember anything in there about high prices. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that, he, he left that he left that graph out. Do we think that that's what's going on? Do we think? I mean, I've seen some other reports from other manufacturers since then that yes. say they're also having a no. Bad there, there's definitely a slowdown in China. There's no question. And I also think there's something to be said for the fact that we've there's we, we've reached somewhat of a peak. You know, everything has a curve. Right. And Even you know, the smartphones iPhone. have been growing. Just forget about the iPhone and just by itself. Smartphones in general have been growing and growing and growing and growing. And the, the, that premium market, it has to plateau at some point. Right. And it seems as though we've we we might have reached that, but the prices are certainly helping reach that plateau. Yeah, I think we you know we were always going to get to the point where we've reached what they call peak iPhone. Yeah. But I do think that the the quick run up in prices over the last couple of years. With the iPhone 10, and yeah. then of course the 10s and 10s Max. Uh, I mean, you know, I, one of the pieces you had written for MacWorld talked about, uh, you know, if you had bought a, an iPhone 10 a year and a half ago and you didn't want the larger phone, which I did, um, this most recent iteration of the iPhone, there wouldn't be a whole lot to it. No, there's you, there's, you know. there's not much there, and I mean, I I think Apple was was creating the 10s for a, a new generation of buyers, mm -hmm. but it's the same price for one. So that means the 10S Max is 1100 which, you know, unless you're a diehard Apple fan, that's a lot which of I used to money. Be. A lot to spend. If they would yeah. have lowered the prices, let's say the 10S was, eight, was $899 yeah. and the 10S Max was $999 and the 10R was $699. Mm -hmm. Psychologically, that is a huge difference. And I think that there was a little bit of hubris and Getting greed a greedy. involved in their pricing scheme this year. They, they, they saw last year and they said, wait a minute, people, people are will buying pay this. these things. Yeah. And I think a lot of people last year actually bought not the $1,000 one, but the $1,150 one yeah. because they were sold to Apple diehards. Let's, let's be honest. Yeah. Most of the people who bought that 10 were people who wanted to be on board with early technology who are Apple's biggest fans. Yeah. It's not, you know, the 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 sheep or whatever you want to call them. Yeah. But the Apple Apple more so than any other company has a pretty large contingent of diehards who right. want the first thing, they want it now and they're going to go and, and they get spend up at 3 it. in the morning to order it Absolutely. when they can. Yeah. Yeah. Been this there. year those people aren't necessarily moved. Some, some are, maybe 10%, maybe 20% are buying the larger one. But well, as you said, if it weren't for the larger one, you there's know, no that's reason. the one big yeah. difference. Yeah. And I think Apple understood that. So they made a 10S, which is well, you know, slightly better, and they made the bigger one for the people who want to, uh, something different. And the, 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 the money was put on the 10R. Yeah. Now, the 10R is, it's a, it's a great phone. Yeah. It's probably the best phone of the year. It's a higher price than the 8 was. And the seven, and then those were those were six ninety nine. Now it's seven fifty, which doesn't seem like much, but it's it's more. Right. I don't care how you want to say, oh, it's only fifty dollars, oh, or it's only 
three dollars a month if you have the upgrade program. It's still more money, mm-hmm. and the ten R didn't. It, it doesn't. There's not really a wow factor. It doesn't move the the, the ball down the field very much. It's a very nice phone. It's a great phone. But and I think people who have a six or a seven look at it and they say, "Eh, "Yeah, maybe I'll just wait for next year." Mm -hmm. And you know, there's a lot of people. And I'll use an example. I was talking to my mom over Christmas. She has a actually it's mine. It's my old six. She upgraded. She she had a five, and I gave her my six. I think a year ago. And I was talking to her about, you know, because she was talking about her contract was up and blah, 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 or something was going on with Verizon where she was going to go in the store and look at phones. And I said, are you going to get a new one? She's like, yeah, I don't think so. She's like, I, I don't want to pay $700, $800 for a new phone. And I said to her, well, you know, you were always paying that. Mm-hmm. You paid two hundred dollars up front, but with all the fees and things that were built into your it was contract, hidden. you could, you could it, tell it yourself that you're paying less. Yeah. yeah. She, first of all, she doesn't believe me or care. Because it's not like the bill has gone down, you know, that much. Verizon right. still, you know, I think the, the the plans are still what they are. Yeah, you're getting more data. You know, it, they're still finding ways to get your hundred dollars a month. Mm-hmm. And you know, she's she basically was just saying that I don't want to spend that much on a phone, and that's what Apple's running into here. They previously people handed over two hundred bucks and walked out with a phone. You can't do that anymore. Right. You know, you're spending fifty dollars a month, forty dollars a month, or for for two years and. For more, from, for or if you continually people, upgrade, it's just perpetual. It's like leasing oh, oh, a but phone. But there's now. that too. That's that, well. That's the next thing is as a service, they want everything. You know, you're going to be paying Apple forever. Yeah. But I think that people are balking at that monthly bill because it's you know th- they're seeing the full cost of the device. And I'm not even saying that it's not the iPhone is is a seven hundred dollar device. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that Apple's gouging you. I'm just saying that there's a, there's a reality that has set in now that Apple somehow has to figure out how to get over that hump yeah. of perception and purchase. Well, and I wonder, you know, to sort of tie these two things together, if you've got a company that is charging top dollar for admittedly, you know, very nice hardware yeah, and, and, and software, yeah. um, but a company that also, when you get that expensive, admittedly nice software and hardware package, uh, can now tell you, oh, you know, it's okay if it's bent or yeah, whatever sure. <laughs> problem. Um, I just think that's a recipe for a real quick, um, decline yeah, yeah. on Apple's I mean, I don't, part. I don't, uh, at least I hope that's not going to be the company's policy going forward. I think this is a very specific, I mean, who knows, but it You know, the fact that it's been is, done once, yeah. just w- w- when you open a door like that, when a, when a company makes a decision like that, however that decision was made or not made, um, the concern is that the next time, because something, there will be some future sure, defect absolutely. in some piece of hardware down the road. Yeah. And Apple, having not gotten a lot of grief for this one, may feel like, well, we, you know, we got away with it before. We can get away with it again. And again, it, 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 you're eating into the very base, the, you know, the, the, the people who really most want to buy your product, and you're telling them to, to, mm-hmm. to stuff it. I don't think that's a good recipe for success. Yeah. And uh, also in that letter, Tim Cook, it was, it was interesting. He brought up the battery program, yeah. which was cheered at the time. Mm-hmm. You know, Apple took a problem. What, what happened was, just a quick recap, yep. um, it, it came out that the iPhone 6, there was a, something built into iOS that um, starting with the iPhone 6, they would lower the performance of the of the CPU if the battery well, uh, health- As the battery health went down, declined. they would if, slow if the phone. If it reached below a certain threshold, mm-hmm. they would you know basically, basically slow down your phone yep. to preserve battery life. They thought this- well, I don't know what they thought, but their, their <laughs> reasons were that it, this was a that was the a argument anyway. Measure. That was the yeah. public statement anyway. Now, at the time, people argued, well, they are purposefully slowing down our phones to upgrade, and you know, I didn't believe that line of thinking. The fact that Tim Cook mentioned it in his letter as a reason for slowing sales, perhaps they were onto something. Well, you know, <laughs> it, 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 again, if you're going to speak to, to think in sort of a conspiratorial way, yeah. and you start seeing decisions made this way and solutions that you know come out uh, the way Apple's roll these things out, it, it it doesn't dissuade you right away from the conspiracy mm-hmm. theories. And I can tell you what, we're not going to see another battery program anytime soon. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Um, all right, so that's the state of Apple right now in early 2019. Oh, I should mention, uh, how are you liking the air power? Oh, wait, it's uh. not there. Uh, <laughs> let's just, you know, just noting that 2018 came and went, air power did not arrive. 
So another fail them as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, well, they did it. promise it. They promised it, and it's not there. So, um, so Mike, listen, thanks a lot. Like I say, I wanted to get a quick beat on a few things that had happened uh, over the holiday period, especially since they're kind of crazy. Yeah, it, and was, wacky. it was it was a busy season for yeah, <laughs> it sure was, yeah, <laughs> for all the wrong and reasons. not in a good way. <laughs> so uh, we'll have to revisit this at some point down the road. But uh, uh, thanks for stopping by. Thank you. For now, that's a wrap.